A tragically busy day for police who had to rush across the valley after separate crashes take two lives, an elderly man and a nine-year-old boy. Thank you for joining us. I'm Marie Mortera. And I'm Latoya Silman and for Jim Snyder. Those tragedies unfolding within a couple of hours of each other on two different sides of town. News 3's Christy Wilcox joins us live from Silverado Ranch near Maryland Parkway where the boy was killed. The boy died at the hospital and I just spoke to his mother a few minutes ago. She said he was walking home with two of his siblings from school. Those two siblings saw exactly what happened out here today and everyone is devastated. Terrible for anyone over here to witness. While people watch officers investigate this deadly auto ped near Sylvestri Middle School, parents like Jason Zamato try to understand how this tragedy happened on this typically quiet street. Even if you're telling your child what they're supposed to do and not to do, accidents happen. Fatal detail investigators say the driver who had her own child in her car was at the stop sign, but as she tried to turn, she collided into a nine year old boy riding his bike. Under these circumstances, she's very distraught and upset. The boy was trapped under the car, later rushed to Sunrise Hospital where he died. Witnesses who tried to help left clothing and padding behind. I believe someone deposited that to help that we're rendering aid. Shortly before this tragedy, Metro was investigating another death deadly scene, a car hit an elderly man near Charleston in Decatur. Officers believe he was using the crosswalk, but they are still investigating. Folks that come forward and provide exactly his whereabouts or some confirming video from the nearby businesses that will be beneficial. Both accidents devastating for loved ones of the victims and for the drivers involved. Just because you strike and kill a pedestrian doesn't alleviate you from having to deal with the drama the rest of your life. You've got that on your conscience. You're going to have to deal with that. Now, Metro still has yet to determine who may have been at fault here today. Of course, they're looking for witnesses who may have information. Reporting live, Christy Wilcox, News 3. Christy, 